right, so we're about to take on what I think will be our biggest project on Edna so far. And the, the work that we have to do is to install a generator. And if you've seen some of the other videos, you'll know that when we got our coach, it did not come with a generator and it did not come with a, a roof AC unit. Apparently they were non-operational at some point and so they were removed and we didn't, uh, we didn't get any of those parts or anything. And so those are a couple things that we want to add. And so we'll have a video about the uh, air conditioning install, but this project is around the generator. And so through people that we have met and um, worked with in the GMC community, we found somebody who had a original 6,000 watt Onan generator. And this is one that apparently starts and runs, but doesn't run well and doesn't generate. So there's a bit of risk with this. And so as we work on it, we'll document our findings and how we make it work. Uh, but I think uh, really I wanted to start with an overview video of what we were getting into, because I think there'll be a number of follow on videos as we, as we go through this project and it may take weeks to get everything set up and, and going on. I'll, I'll kind of show you a little bit of why I think that is here in a moment. So here is the generator and just looking at it, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, the paint is pretty good. It looks like it's been stored inside even though it hasn't been in a coach for who knows how long. Um, doesn't look very rusted. The person we got it from uh, did hook it up to gas and electricity and was able to start it and run it and apparently it ran smoothly and didn't smoke or any of the, the things that would be concerning from an engine standpoint. So this is a, uh, a two cylinder engine. We've got the two spark plugs here. Uh, the air intake comes here, carburetor, fuel line, so on, kind of in this back corner. The air filters in the back. Uh, and then you've got these two cylinders and an air uh, cooling system here on the front because this is an air cooled generator. And then the actual generator itself is back here on the back of the engine and circuit breaker and everything. It's really complete. And you'll see in a minute when I show the, the cubicle that we're putting in this into why we needed one that was it was very complete and so this has the uh, those sliding rails on it um, control board is down here that's one of the things that the the person we got this from said is not working so through their initial testing they found that uh, the like stop switch would, would not work and some of the other the relays appeared to, to not be working and so one of the first things we think we'll need to do along with just a tune-up replacing the spark plugs and the oil and the air filter is to uh, replace the control board and test that out thoroughly. Um, but in addition to the generator we got the bracket here that mounts to the side of the frame and provides some protection for the muffler. The muffler is, is off of this right now because um, it would be hard to transport if, if this had the muffler hanging off the bottom and didn't have this to protect it. And then we also have the drawer itself. So this drawer attaches to these brackets with this attached to the frame. And then there's another set of rails here, similar to the ones that are mounted on the, the generator. Uh, so we'll, we'll pick the set of, of slides that work best. But this bracket and drawer are permanently mounted in the coach and the generator can slide out to give you access to uh, change the oil or the air filter or you know get to the fuel lines or, or anything like that. So I think we have everything that we need but it's in a little bit of, of rough shape. So there'll be a little bit of cleanup and we'll probably uh, do a little bit of painting to get this to, to look a little nicer since we have things all taken apart. Uh, we've got some, some tune-up work to do. Uh, you can see the air filter here. Looks like it's seen better days. Definitely uh, starting to fall apart, so we'll get a new one of those. Uh, some of these rubber pieces uh, are looking kind of uh, cracked 
Um, looks like they could use a little bit of help. Um, this doesn't even look like it's the right part, so we might see if we can do something better there. Uh, and I'm just going to go through and look at all of the parts of this as I'm, I'm getting it set up and running. Um, there are a handful of things that may not be necessary uh, anymore. Uh, we will plan on wiring this into the coach uh, house battery that's right back in the, the same area as this. Uh, I don't know if this one originally had its own battery or not, um, but there'll be some work to do to, to figure things out. Uh, we have some of the wiring here. Uh, I'll have to figure out what all of this is. I'm assuming we probably have the uh, conductors to go into the uh, receptacle in the coach itself. Uh, connector here, you know, likely for the start-stop switch and the control center inside the coach um, and, and a few others. So I'm going to have to kind of start from scratch here as I, as I go through things. So we'll have plenty of, of videos to show on that. So this is a bit about the parts that we got and what our plans are. Um, now we'll take a moment and just take a look at where we're going to be putting this. All right, so now we're back here in the generator cubicle and you can see it's pretty empty. Uh, we, got, we got this when we bought the coach even though we didn't get a generator. So it gives me an idea of what the wiring looks like going up to the electrical cabinet here. So originally this would have been attached here and then been attached to the electrical on the generator itself. So we have a little bit of a clue even though this needs to be replaced. This board should not be here. So this was installed after the fact and you can see a little silicone holding that together. And so we'll need to take that out. We'll need to have a different hold down for the batteries. We've got a couple of six volt batteries here and we'll need to be able to wire from the generator to those batteries. And we'll have to do something with the handle for our um, sewage dump because when we install that bracket that the cabinet mounts to, it, uh, I think it's going to cover this up. And so we'll have some, some modifications or some work to do there to get that figured out. Um, I'll probably look at pictures of other installed generators and try to get an idea uh, from some other people we know that have generators in their coaches uh, exactly what this looks like uh, when it's all set up the way it should be. So there'll be some investigation there and I'll share what I learn as I, as I go through it. Uh, I think as far as our next steps go, we've got to kind of tear this out and get ready to install the new parts. We'll also need to do cleanup on the parts that we got and start doing some of the repairs on the generator. So one of the things, uh, I talked a little bit about the tune-up work that I want to start with on the generator. From a charging standpoint, um, I'm hoping that the, there's a small part inside the generator, it's called a, a rectifier or a bridge rectifier, and it provides DC uh, electricity to the field winding. And if that fails, the generator won't work. And so I'm optimistic that that might be the only problem electrically. Um, so we'll, we have a new uh, rectifier and we'll install that once we get some of the mechanical tune-up work done on the generator. We'll have some more video around that. Um, but definitely we'll have a, a few things to work on. So I think that is it for our plan and we'll keep you posted as we make progress.